DLSS 3 frame generation is now possible for older RTX GPUs. That means GPUs from 2000 series and 3000 series. You watch the FPS, now the frame generation option can be triggered on and now see the difference. It's day and night. Just double the amount of FPS with a click. This is Hogwarts Legacy and I have a 3070 Ti GPU running at completely ultra settings. For this mod, you need to make sure that in your display settings, under the graphics tab, in change default graphics settings, you have this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. If you are enabling this for the first time, you need to restart your computer. Make sure you restart your computer after you check this on. If it is on, you can just follow it from here. As you can see, I have a RTX 3070 Ti GPU and we are going to make sure it works on this. Copy this link. This link is going to be in the description of the page on your browser and follow the process. And the link is for the Nexus mod. You need to make sure that you are logged in. Otherwise, you won't be able to see these files. Uh, this mod at the time of making the video, it was in the 0.60 version, but I would recommend you using the 0.50 version because that mod particularly has an advantage. It throws a pop-up box, making sure that the game is act that the mod is actually working for the game. So you need to manually download it. You can go for the slow download. Wait a while. And here it is. I have already downloaded that and you will need to extract it. You can use any kind of extractor. Windows 7 now or oh, Windows 11 sorry now has a built-in extractor. You can use WinRAR 2. Once extracted, you're gonna see all of these files, right? Uh, there is a readme file which tells you through the process and it tells you that it's only been tested on Cyberpunk and Witcher 3. But I have tested it on other games, it works well. So it's universal basically. The first thing you need to make sure is you disable NVIDIA signature checks. So just click on the file and follow through. Yes. And once again, okay. In case you want to revert, just restore NVIDIA signature checks and you will be good to go. You need to click control, click and then copy both of the files. And now you need to open the game exe folder which you need to mod for that i personally have the steam purchases so i'm going to go in the steam steam library let's say we are going to mod witcher go to the properties and install files browse the install files Here you are going to see an exe. Guys, this is a launcher exe. So this isn't the actual exe that you are gonna paste the content. Now there are two exes. This one is for DirectX 11. And if you paste here, it's again not gonna work because it's only supportable for DirectX 12. So you need to paste it here. And only then this mod is going to work, okay? If it asks you to replace the files, you can replace it without a doubt. Okay, let me show you if you pasted it here and then double click, it's not gonna work because NVIDIA, Nvidia DLSS is, is required for that to work and it's not available for DirectX 11. So if you go into the options and in the video display, see the option is grayed out. 
but if you exit the game go back to the 64 bit version of directx 12 see this is the pop up i was talking about that's why you need to use that 0.50 version of the mod it tells you by pop up that it's working 0.60 version is fine too it's good enough but it shows that it is working by going into the game okay dlss frame generation is now not grayed off it's working fine similarly you can go for other games too like hogwarts legacy it also has dlss 3 same process browse through the files where the exe is placed again there will be a trick <laughs> like if you place the files here it's not gonna work again guys no not gonna work the actual exe is actually in the phoenix folder binaries win64 here you need to place the files here the mod files the two mod files here otherwise it's not gonna work again now if you run the application it will work so make sure and this is just a small catch with this particular mod see the pop-up it means it is going to work inside fast forwarding it so that you can skip all the wasteful seconds okay here we are in the game see my gpu is 3070ti and the frame generation is enabled that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it do subscribe to the channel and like the video it's gonna help this channel tremendously catch you in the next video